Soldier got mega buffed and he's going to be incredibly powerful in the emerging soldier meta. So let's break down exactly how to master this character as quickly as possible. Starting right off with the changes first, damage got increased, helix rockets got increased, and biotic field got increased. We're going to reference these later on, but here's a snapshot of what the changes were just in case you missed it. Now first we're going to talk about his abilities and ways in which you should be using them and avoid using them, and then we're going to talk about overall strategy tips and mistakes that you're making on the character. First off, let's talk about Soldier's primary weapon, the Pulse Rifle, which is now doing 19 damage. And this is going to have slight recoil and bloom, and you're going to have to get used to using this weapon in about nine bullet bursts or small little bursts while you're poking targets, making sure that if you're shooting something from further away, you're trying to keep a more controlled burst. And then if you're shooting at something more close up, you can definitely just spray it out and you don't have to worry so much about that little bit of inaccuracy. Now, as far as controlling that recoil and getting amazing aim on soldier we do talk about it later on in the mechanical section but let's talk about how you're supposed to use this weapon specifically the fact that this is not going to do a crazy amount of damage to tanks well you can definitely focus a tank that's crazy out of position most of the time on soldier you're going to want to be trying to shoot squishies with this weapon slowly whittling them down if they're out of position potentially combining it with your other abilities to get a pick on them or to control where the enemies are soldiers incredibly effective at controlling and maintaining off angles which will We'll talk more about in a strategy section as well and the next up is the helix rocket you're going to get every six seconds and it's going up from 80 to 90 damage explosive which means it's 130 damage direct now, this is one of the defining abilities in Soldier's Guerrilla Warfare playstyle, which is a hit and run playstyle that allows Soldier to take an off angle, aggressively attack an enemy with a helix that does a giant amount of burst damage, and then finishing them off with the pulse rifle. Because of how fast you get it, you can hypothetically use it, run away temporarily, get it again if you're being pursued, or you get to read it back into a play, and you're going to get this ability off a lot. And one of the things that I would recommend to you is if you hit enemies near their feet, it does have a slight amount of cc which is going to put them up in the air allow you to easily follow up with your pulse rifle and it's more consistent than always trying to hit a direct rocket especially if they're fairly far away now if you are ever in a close range fight you can always use your helix rocket plus a melee for a fat 160 damage now collectively burst out of nowhere and it's incredibly good against characters like tracer that want to get close to you to deal their max amount of damage but you can one shot them out of nowhere even if they have full hp the next up, let's talk about the sprint, 50% movement speed, and the thing about sprint is it enables everything that Soldier wants to do. Take off angles, wrap around the fight, play at a range where a lot of close range tanks in particular can't get to him, and run away from danger. Sprint is an ability that sometimes you're just going to run away. If you have a Genji that dives onto you, oftentimes you should just sprint away and keep running. There's no cooldown on this ability, so if you keep running, eventually you will get away from everyone if they don't kill you and that's a super underrated aspect of this ability sometimes it's best to just run away and live to fight another day now moving on to his biotic field which is now at 40 heals per second and it's going to last for five seconds total a 15 second cooldown this is one of the best abilities soldier has at maintaining an aggressive off angle because unlike other characters where if they're alone they get shot a little bit they have to run away soldier can maintain that off angle and maintain that pressure constantly corralling and forcing squishies to hide behind cover or even killing them outright if he's ever in a 1v1 situation, Biotic Field heavily swings it into his favor, regardless of who you're 1v1ing, as long as it's not a tank, because combined with good left-right sway and crouch spamming, you become very hard to hit with extra sustain in your heal, meaning that you can win a 1v1 against almost any squishy in the game. Now that being said, this is on a 15 second cooldown, so if you're forced to use this out early, you need to understand that you're very vulnerable while you don't have it. And without Biotic Field, there's a lot of characters that are a real problem for you. Characters like Tracer and Genji, Divas will just delete you, so yeah, just keep in mind when you don't have this, you gotta play a little bit safer than normal. The last step we do gotta talk about the Tactical Visor, which refills your ammo, can now headshot, and will not miss. You get aimbot, and this is a really, really effective use if you're combining it with something that puts you in the fight or increases your damage. So like Kitsune Rush or Nano, this is gonna allow Soldier to push in really aggressively, get those vantage points that he needs in order to just kind of mow people down and get a lot of value out of Visor. 
Outside of that, you can get pretty easy value with Visor against any fly character that commits to an upwards mobility that is using the skybox. They're relying on your damage fall off. So when a far flies up in the air with their mercy really high, you can pop your Visor and just delete them even if they're really, really far away. And normally it would be impossible for you to track that. Now keep in mind, unless you're being comboed with with another ultimate, you are still very vulnerable while you're using this. And it's very easy for you to pop it, run around the corner and then just instantly die. So you gotta make sure that you don't get over greedy with this and you try to see the value in front of you while still being able to play near cover so that you don't just die out of nowhere the next up let's talk about the strategy and big mistakes that you're making on soldier 76 we would mentioned the guerrilla warfare style and this is a hit and run strategy that Soldier 76 is so damn strong at. Unlike other characters like Cass that can play kind of narrow behind their tank and on the front line, Soldier doesn't have that amount of burst consistently. He does have his helix, but it's not reliable to play on the front line with it because he's not getting critical hits out of nowhere that do giant chunks of damage. He whittles people down and looks for opportunity in order to kill them. This means that he's really bad at playing the front line the majority of the time, and he's far better controlling these off angles and playing these high grounds he often wants to completely ignore the enemy tank find an off angle that is far away from them so they cannot deny him anything he wants to do and slowly but surely control contain and potentially kill any squishy that he sees poking at honest forcing them to use their abilities or play really scared poking at enemy dps denying them from taking off angles on his team and ultimately even wrapping around the enemy team and playing even behind them at times because of his mobility and the ability for him to heal himself he can do things completely by himself as long as he makes sure to keep his threats in check knows where they're positioned so that none of them get too close to him when he's not ready he doesn't have his cooldowns then he's going to be able to control the engagement at any time and he's always whittling down and then looking for an opportunity to go for a hit and run style where he helix someone kills them and then dips away so he gets to get a kill and then doesn't get traded out when someone looks to try to trade out him after he gave away that aggressive position he wants to run away right away and doesn't get too greedy with that value you got the value just get out and you already won now, I did mention that you're going to want to ignore all tanks, and I mean it. You want to ignore all tanks. There's nothing to be gained by spamming them unless they're so out of position that your whole team is focusing them. They're going to generate you less ult charge. You're not going to be able to get nearly as much value with your small amount of damage. Even the buffed amount of damage is not enough for you to justify shooting at a tank that is getting pocketed by two supports. It's far better for you to do damage where the damage has more impact per shot. And most of the time, tanks are going to try to put themselves in front of you. They want you to focus at them. They want you to not be shooting at their team. And that's where, as soldier, you need to think about how you can flank, how you can play an off angle, how can you play adjacent enough from the enemy tank to where that tank can't easily pivot onto you. And this is going to change depending on the tank you're up against. If you're up against a lot of brawl tanks like Junker Queen, she can pivot, but not to the high ground. So maybe you should take the high ground. If you're up against characters like D.Va and Doom, they can pivot really, really aggressively. So you have to be ready and watching them even if you're not shooting at them for the moment that they start to pivot to you you're out of there in a flash or else you could easily get punished the next up we do got to talk about strengths and weaknesses on the character the strength he has is his constant pressure his mobility and his self-sufficiency that being said from range he doesn't have very consistent bursts and there's a lot of characters that he really doesn't want to take a long distance matchup against characters like widow hanzo and ash can be very problematic and he would much rather ignore these fights from range and try to take a isolated or surprise engagement against these characters now high ground is godly on soldier and he can abuse it in a way that no other character can if you take it and abuse it not only are you really hard to deal with because you're on a high ground where you get to deal with constant pressure but oftentimes up against certain teams they're not really going to have many characters that can clear you off and there's some characters that if they try to come for you alone they will lose if you're taking a high ground on king's row let's say on attack you're wrapping to the right side and they come for you a genji does if you kill that genji or if you chase him away all of a sudden you get to push even further to their high ground and now they're just going to get constantly pressured by you from that high ground without any way for them to properly clear it and this is really where soldier can abuse certain maps very very well because wrapping from one high ground to the next and making it so the enemy team if they want to get rid of you they have to invest ample resources to do so but then you could just dip out of nowhere means that you can get automatic value just your existence alone can become problematic 
problematic for them and oftentimes they're not going to deal with you and you're just going to be able to kind of clean up on their back line now let's talk about mechanical skill and how you get better at it i highly suggest practicing in vaxta a custom game code v-a-x-t-a this is a great place to warm up practice your tracking against flying characters and characters with complex movement you can ramp up the movement speed of the enemy team in addition to that, Isle Stux has a code JPYHG. He's another coach that set up an aim training course where the bots actually progressively get faster and faster as you focus them down. This is a really great way to simulate some of that pressure that you're going to experience while you're trying to learn and master your aim on soldier. Last up, we do want to talk about Triad Free For All, which is a great place for you to get used to dueling different matchups, especially some of the problematic ones. Characters like Cass, characters like Tracer, characters like Genji. You're definitely going to want to get the rest in here so i highly suggest making a triad free for all lobby and locking soldier in it last but certainly not least if you want to improve your mechanical skill in your games themselves you need to exercise aim discipline this is super important where you're not firing when your crosshair gets off the target and you're resetting your aim and then you're refiring trying to control your shots on criticals of course and progressively resetting over and over again way too often when people learn a character like soldier they get lazy and they start firing and it goes way off then they're spraying the entire time it's off the target they bring it all the way back but they wasted freaking seven bullets trying to get it back they have no discipline about what shots are hitting and what shots are missing and that's one of the things that's holding you back from improving your aim it's really important to be deliberate with the the shots you're taking don't just spray and pray and dump your entire mag this isn't freaking paintball this is soldier 76 so you got to make sure that you're actually being intentional with the shots you're using the last up we do got to talk about what characters work the best with soldier and what characters are the hardest for you to deal with well, there's a lot of characters that work well with Soldier. Any character that is trying to ignore the front line and put value into the back line, regardless of how they do it, works well with Soldier because he can take a separate angle from them and apply pressure to the same target. Think about a Genji that's going in while you're poking that same support from a really far off angle, or maybe it's a Tracer or even a Wrecking Ball. All these characters work really well with Soldier 76, but one of the biggest strengths of Soldier is that he kind of works decently well with everyone. A lot of characters can work well in different ways. A character is discorded well soldier can poke that down and actually does a lot of damage even to a slightly out of position tank oh you have a mercy well a mercy pocket actually works pretty well kitsune nano these things work really well with soldier and soldiers ultimate and a lot of tanks ultimately you're not playing to enable their strategy necessarily but if you have a tank that's trying to hold a front line you're trying to put pressure into their dps keep them from the off angles and maybe kill a support in the back line which is going to help your tank on the front line and if you have a dive tank, you're looking to take an off angle and apply pressure at the same time that your tank is going in because a helix combined with pressure from an angle that the enemy team isn't ready for combined with like a Winston jumping in is too much pressure to deal with and everyone's just going to die. I will say that the weakest composition to play soldier in and probably against as well is a poke comp. Where there's not a lot of geometry of these maps to flank really wide or go on a high ground off angle, like think of Junker Town first, where there's really no place you can go. As you get to 30, it becomes a lot better, but there's many points on that map where you just can't really do anything to get past a Sigma or wrap around or even fight a character like Hansa from range. So while you can play him in these comps and against these comps, he's a little bit weaker than some of the other options. Doesn't mean you can't play him though, and I do think that he can play pretty Pretty flexibly in most composition in ranked play but soldier is looking to be really dominant this meta patch definitely let me know if you have any questions on how to master this character in the comments down below and let me know what video you want to see next thank you so much for coming by hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time